Sony Vegas. Hey, what's up? Robert here coming at you with Sony Vegas Pro 11. And in this tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at getting started here in Vegas. So you just installed Vegas, I'm assuming, and you opened it up, and now you want to get started on a project. Well, instead of me going through every little detail of what everything does, let's just go ahead and give you a brief layout of what you see here. This up here is a toolbar, and this is going to have all of your mostly frequently used tools. You can go ahead and edit it in the preferences to take out tools that you don't use and add tools that maybe you personally use frequently. And for most of these tools, there are shortcut keys that you can use your keyboard to access these tools, and those shortcut keys can increase your speed and workflow. So enough of the toolbar, let's go ahead and move down here. Here we have our window that contains the project media, obviously, and then explore, which we can explore our computer and find our video that we're looking for. Transitions, here we're going to have all the transitions, video effects, media generators, you know, it's all pretty much common sense. So down here we have our timeline. This is where we're going to add all of our video and soundtracks and edit them. So this is going to be like the star of the show. This is where we're going to take the video, cut it up, replace clips, move them around, you know, mash them together, and make a video. Here we have our little time display. It's going to show us where we are in the timeline. Uh, we have our track list right here. So if I added a video, we would see the video track and the audio track. For example, let me go ahead and open up a folder here with some video. And I'm just going to simply click and drag these clouds into the timeline. And you can see it creates a track automatically for the video and audio. And then you have certain options for the entire track here that you can edit. We have our scrub controls down here, playback rates, uh, you know, play, stop buttons. If you ever used any kind of VCR DVD player, you know what these do. Um, it's the same here in the video editor. And then we just have our preview here. And this is what the final outcome is going to look like. And this is going to be our video monitor. So if we only want to insert a certain part of this clip, we can bring it into the video monitor, cut it out, and then drag it down into the timeline, just like that. Uh, one neat feature that you can do is if you have a lot of effects on your timeline, you can also adjust you know, the preview, the playback rate. Right now I have it set to best auto. If your computer is not as quick, you can set it to draft auto. It's just kind of like After Effects when you're previewing video. You can set the quality to full, half, quarter, etc and uh, you know speed up those playback rates there are various ways of importing video you can just click and drag like I did earlier you can click and drag to the timeline or click and drag to the project media window you can also go to file import media and we can import some video here so I'm gonna go ahead and select all these clips open and all these clips show up in my project media bin so everything that you add to the timeline will also be added into the project media such as pictures, video, and audio. So here we have all this video. And I have a video of clouds that we can play back, play from start. And if you can hear the sound, it's kind of windy so I'm going to bring that way down, the gain way down. So you can see I just clicked on the top of the audio and it says gain is zero decibels. And I can click and drag it down to bring the volume down. Pretty easy. Now, when I edit things on this clip, it's just going to be for this particular clip. You can also add video effects and event pan crop, which will adjust how the video displays on the screen. But if you go over here and you edit the level here and the effects, you add some track effects and you come over here to the audio track and you bring the volume down that's going to affect the entire track so any clips that I add to this will have a negative 6.6 .6 decibel volume and the opacity is set at 76 so you can see that affects the entire track so if I could bring this back to 100 bring this back to 0 we're good now so I brought in this second clip and if you notice I just clicked and dragged from the project media down it's pretty simple to do and if you go and drag this clip over and you have the enable snapping on it'll kind of snap to the clip you can turn that off by hitting F8 or hitting the button up here to enable snapping and the clip won't snap so I like the snapping on just because 
it you know snaps to everything but sometimes you need to get the video just in a certain area right there so I can hit F8 and drag it right where I need it to be. You can also zoom in on the timeline so if you need to see closer on a particular object or particular clip you can go ahead and click and drag this scroll bar down here so just drag it over and here we are zooming in and then you can drag over pretty simple and you can also use these zoom buttons on the side to make the clip shorter or bigger so you can see what's going on there's also this magnifying tool which is called the zoom tool here in Vegas where you can zoom to a particular part of a clip and it'll zoom right on it for you so up here again if we have the option set to automatic crossfades if I go ahead and I bring this clip into on top of the other clip you can see this X appear and what that X means is it's a crossfade. It's also crossfading the audio. So if I preview this clip, you'll see we're going from the clouds, and then it crossfades to this other clip. Just as simple as that, you can create crossfades. Now, what if I wanted to add a different kind of transition? Well, I can go to transitions, and then I can go to linear wipe, and add a little wipe to that just by clicking and dragging it down to the transition area so if I let go you get this box that says linear wipe and you can adjust the settings for that transition and you can just close that now every time you drag an effect you're going to get this box but if you click and drag the effect and then hold down shift let go that box will not come up so as you can see if we preview this clip we have that nice little crossfade that happens there Let's go ahead and take a look at video effects. Here we have different effects that we can add to the clip. We can either go to video effects, click on an effect and click and drag it to the clip or you can click this little button here that says event effects. Once you click that, we have all of these plugins that we can choose from. These are all Sony Vegas plugins that all come with Sony Vegas and they're pretty easy to use. They're nice to have in certain situations. So if I come down here and add a Sony color corrector, I can either double click on it and it'll add up here or I can click on it once and hit add. Click OK. And here we have the color corrector. Now I can go in here and adjust the colors to correct the clip. So if I add, let's just make it really dramatic purple. Bluish. Just like that. We've added that effect to this clip only. So there we have the color corrector. Now we can click on it, we can click the little checkbox to disable it temporarily, or we can just select it and come over here, remove selected plugin. You'll notice once you close that, you see this pan crop. Now if we exit out of that, you can access the pan crop by clicking the event pan crop, little crop looking icon right here. Click that, and here's our event pan crop. Now here you can zoom out using the scroll wheel on your mouse and simply, you know, edit the video just the way you want it. You can zoom in on that particular flower, you zoom out, move it around in the window. And we'll go over more about this in a future video. Then we have media generators. This is some media that Sony Vegas Pro 11 comes with. We have a checkerboard media that we can add, uh, you know, different little pre-made things that we can add to our timeline. You can adjust some settings. And here we have a checkerboard. Now let's say I want to add a clip above these clouds. I can do so by choosing, let's, let's go ahead and pick some text. So I'm going to go to titles and text and Sony Vegas Pro 11 comes with a bunch more text effects that you can choose from pre-made text. So I want this earthquake text above the clouds. I can click and drag it down and you'll kind of see that it's going above the clip. I can drag it into this particular video track or I can come up here and add it above the video track and now what that does is it added a new video track right here and now we have text overlaying these clouds now you notice since this is generated media we'll have a little generated media button here that we can click to adjust that media so I'm gonna go ahead and make this a little bit smaller and we can just type in clouds you can also adjust the text color and so on but uh, if you go ahead and preview this we have our text clouds now if you notice it's 
quite a dramatic entrance. It just, boom, the text is there. Well, you can zoom in here, come to the edge of the clip, and you'll see Fade Offset. If you click and drag to the right, you'll see that line. That line is a fade-in line. So the text fades in. The same with the outro. So if we want the text to end right here, we can come over here to the end and fade this out. Now you can make this any duration you want and fade out just like that. So let's see. Fades in, clouds text, and then it fades out. Simply just like that. So we don't have such a harsh, dramatic entrance for the text. Now in some cases you might want that to happen. And that's how you can just fade in and out any clips. That'll not only work with text but also with these flowers over here. We can also fade it in and fade it out. Just like that. And in the media generators there are various things you can choose from. Prototype titler, uh, you know, credit rolls, different kind of colors, color gradients, etc. So let's go back to the project media and you'll notice that we have a new media clip for our clouds and the Sony checkerboard that I added earlier and so on. So that was a real quick basic overview of Sony Vegas Pro 11 getting started you know dragging in clips, fade in clips, you know overlay clips etc. We'll go ahead and take a deeper dive in the next episode of the Sony Vegas Getting Started series. If you like this video you can always subscribe for future releases of this Sony Vegas Getting Started series. You can also follow me on Twitter and Facebook. All the links are on the screen right now. So hopefully this helped you. Kind of give you a basic overview of just what you can do with Sony Vegas. And if you've already used Vegas Pro in the past, you probably already know all of these things, but you know, it's a good way to refresh your memory or even maybe learn some things you, you haven't have known otherwise. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Thank you for watching. Follow at Rob's Productions on Twitter and like us on Facebook.